In 2017, we first flew the V-280 Valor, which was our clean sheet demonstrator, again, for the Army Air Assault Mission. We were able to fly over 214 hours. We were able to fly with five U.S. Army experimental pilots, over 15 sorties, um, and we were able to capture over 2,200, you know, um, test points. In that time, we demonstrated 305 knots, true airspeed and level flight. We've talked about air vehicle performance and speed and range and you know uh, doubling some of those capabilities. One thing we haven't talked about is the open systems architecture. So having an open system is something that has been critical uh, for the Army to allow them to upgrade at the speed of technology and overcome obsolescence issues. Randy, how important is it to have an open systems approach, open systems architecture that allows for these mission systems upgrades for the Army? Yeah, I think it's extremely important. After spending six years uh, in special operations uh, integration and acquisition in uh, their element called SIMO, uh, that aircraft had lots of sensors, lots of add-on mission equipment, and to add any piece or to replace any piece, the, the challenge of getting that on board, getting that qualified, getting that ready for crews to go execute in combat was a long process. So anything we can do to enhance that and be able to keep up with the technology uh, as the technology changes will absolutely be needed for the future fight. Uh, if we can't stay ahead of our adversary, then we're not going to be in the competition. I think the digital thread has allowed us to design the aircraft how we want to build it and maintain it is, uh, is key to highlight. And on the maintenance side, it's a different aircraft. We've got electronic circuit breakers, we've got triplex fly-by-wire systems, triplex hydraulic, triplex electrical. It's all built on the digital thread and with digital models. Jay, can you talk about how maintenance and maintainers will be trained using this technology on the digital thread? One of the things that, that Bell does is uh, it, actually at the design process, we have, we have maintainers sitting in the room with the engineers. So wh why do we do that? Well, we do that because we know however that aircraft gets designed for the next 40 years, that's, that's the layout of the aircraft. Being able to work in that uh, digital environment, we actually have crew chiefs go in and remove components in a, in a digital environment. Why do we do that? Make sure that the openings are big enough. Make sure we can get in there, that we can turn and remove said components. So all that's enabled with this, this digital thread, uh, and it's important. If we design the aircraft where things fail less, there's less maintenance to do, and one of the inherent advantages of the tilt rotor concept is reduction in vibration, especially at cruise. One of the largest drivers in maintenance is vibration, both from avionics, seals, and you name it. Uh, the ability to reduce the rotors to 80%, be on wing, and reduce that vibration for the majority of the flight is absolutely going to decrease the amount of failures we have in components.